welcome back to my channel and you guys today's video is going to be different because I am sharing with you guys how I got myself into cosmetics world or into makeup counter so a lot of people ask me do you need to have a makeup artist certification are you a makeup artist have you been to school none of those you guys I don't have any of those so how to get a job in cosmetics world without any experience but before I'm going to start this video you guys please um, do me a favor please hit the subscribe button like button and let's get right into this so you guys I have never been to makeup school I am NOT a makeup artist none of those okay everything that I learned through makeup I am a self-taught taught I am self-taught makeup artist everything that I learned you guys is from YouTube like you know what I'm saying when I got here in US my first job was at Chick-fil-A which is I really love that job you know Chick-fil-A taught me so much you guys you know I was be able to learn to count the money I was be able to have you know English conversation this kind of stuff I fell in love with makeup because of YouTube and this is the reason why I started my YouTube because I love it you know what I'm saying so anyways so when I get to see it's like oh my god this place I want to be here I want to work here but the thing is I don't know how because I don't have a retail experience I just don't know how to start because I don't know anybody in cosmetics world I don't have friends that work in cosmetics I went to indeed I applied for Estee Lauder companies I want to be a Estee Lauder beauty advisor I don't know <laughs> but I did try you guys I went to the job descriptions I read everything uh, none of them really match me <laughs> like you know what I'm saying sometimes you just go ahead and you know have a guts you know have a confidence to do it but when I place my resume you guys it's kind of like empty I did use my skills back home uh, I used to work with Idea one so I have a little bit of knowledge about you know um, detergent you know safeguard and tie those kind of stuff so I did use that as you know because why not it's your experience uh, but I am not really sure if they're gonna take it or not however I still apply so first two three weeks you guys I did not gain any emails from the companies that I applied for it's frustrating I was like oh my god maybe this is not you know this is not for me but I don't give up honey I go for it like I'm saying so until one day you guys like a month I received an email from Dillard's which is where I work a clinic originally I applied for Estee Lauder but the open position is clinic and I was like hey I just want my foot to be in cosmetics world and I don't care about the pay I don't care about how much I'm gonna make prior to that they gave me an interview my interview process is a lot because I have my phone interview I have interview for you know the managers in the store the managers I had so much interviews I don't know why I mean I just want to be I just want to work you know I don't want to be an owner <laughs> I'm gonna say when I received the email you guys that I'm gonna have an interview with the manager I need to come into the store oh my god right away I went to YouTube and you know what I do I search the first interview question tell me about yourself I did study those questions I did study the history who's the owner like you know what's their what they stand for those kind of stuff so I even use my experience selling necktie selling uh, orange juice and banana queue hey that is a skills you guys you can sell like you know what I'm saying after three weeks I received a call that I got a job and I was like yes hallelujah so here's the thing that you need to know you guys you don't need to be a makeup artist at the end of the day cosmetics world they need money you need to sell like I'm saying you just need to have a confidence in a guts and a brain you know what I'm saying um, if you want to be in cosmetics world if you really love makeup if you are passionate about it for example if you have like this mall close to you and you want to work over there just go there and ask you know do you guys have any vacant there's no harm in asking and I've been there and you know it's just a matter of how thick your face and how you want it like what I'm saying always look for the manager always ask if they're hiring and if they said yes said is your manager here you know kind of speak to her 
this kind of stuff. Even if they're gonna decline you, it's totally fine. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, what do you call this? Just good, don't get discouraged, you guys. Mind you, a lot of people has a portfolio with their faces on it. That's good, you know, that's that's amazing. But hey, if you have mouth, you can do it. There's a thing like makeup, you can learn makeup. The reason why I'm making this video, you guys, because even at the store, they asked you, what do you guys need? What Sephora needs to get hired? I was like, do you have a retail experience? There you go. Do you know how to sell? There you go. They can say, it's just a matter of asking, it's just a matter of determination, and if you really want it. So yeah, working in retails, working in cosmetics world, you don't need experience. You just, you just need to be determined, you know? And sometimes you guys, you just need to show up. Tell them that, you know, I want it. I want to work here. I'm passionate about it. They can say, they need to feel that this girl is for this job. Because I did. You know, over the years, I developed so much skills. You know, not just in makeup, but selling as well, which is really important. Uh, because, you know, guys, at the end of the day, it's not about the makeup, this face. It's all about the money. It's all about selling. If you can sell, apply. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, what else? <laughs> What, is the, what else do I need to share it to you guys? For those of you guys who wants to get a job in cosmetics. Um, yeah. If you're passionate about it, go. All in. And if you're going to the interview, you guys look good. And when you go to your interview, dress like it's your first day. Like I'm saying, act like I'm going to start today. Like I'm saying, always smile and say thank you. Always ask questions and say thank you. That's it for this video, you guys. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope this video helps you a little bit. I am not a pro. I'm speaking through my experience. And, and good luck to your interview. Thank you guys all so much. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.